네, 그럼 지금부터 ITF 채용 설명회를 시작하도록 하겠습니다. So from now on, we'll have a special session with ITF. So we we'll would like to introduce the employment procedure of ITF by Ms. Snow. Please welcome her with a round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. I am the Secretary Coordinator of Secretary General's Office, Su Jin Ro. Nice to meet you, everyone. So the OECD ITF is covering all the related sectors for the mobility and the transport, and we plan the global agenda and proceed with the discussions. So we are entering the uh, 60, we have 64 member countries. In ITF, we'd like to welcome good talent for the international sectors. Of course, uh, also the diversity is one of the core focus of the uh, Secretary General. So that's why we are holding today's opportunity at ITF session. So for this session, we'd like to have a presentation and the Q&A sessions. And all the ITF staff will join the Q&A session, so please actively participate in the Q&A sessions if you have any questions. We'd like to uh, take questions from the online participants as well. Hello, 네, 그 멋진 소개 감사드립니다. 오늘 여러분들과 함께하게 돼서 굉장히 기쁘게 생각을 합니다. 오늘 그 ITF 채용과 관련해 이제 관심을 보여주셔서 감사, 어, 감사드립니다. 네, 오늘 채용과 관련된 기회에 대해서 이야기를 하기 전에 네, 여러분들 그 저희 한국 교통 비즈니스 모두 ITF에 참여하시기를 요청드립니다. 저희 다양한 행사 그리고 워크숍 그리고 실무단 그리고 다양한 행사들이 있는데요. 저희가 할, 활동하고 있는 것들에 모두 여러분들이 참여해 주시면 정말 감사하겠습니다. 네, 그럼 간략하게 먼저 저희 그 ITF와 관련된 내용을 그 소개해 드리도록 하겠습니다. 저희가 연관 총회를 진행하는 사진을 지금 현재 보여드리고 있습니다. 네, 저희 그전 세계 64개 그 회원국들이 모여서 저희가 매년 이런 총회를 진행을 하고 있습니다. 네, 매년 5월 독일에서 저희가 진행을 하고 있고요. 약 2천 명의 그 사람들이 참여를 해서 굉장히 많은 논의를 나눕니다. 뭐 여러 가지 교통과 관련된 문제를 다 전체적으로 논의하고 있습니다. 네, 그러면 저희 그 ITF, 저희 그 국제교통 포럼은 그 국제기구입니다. 네, 교통과 관련된 모든 사안들을 다루고 있습니다. 저희는 이제 정부 간 플랫폼으로도 활동을 하고 있습니다. 그리고 프랑스에 있는 파리에 주둔하고 있고요. 그리고 이제 교통 정책에 관련된 내용도 담당을 하고 있고, 더 심화적으로 그 관련된 그 교통 경제 발전, 그리고 이제 환경 지속 가능성, 그리고 이제 사회 포용성에 대해서는 더 심화적인 연구를 진행을 하고 있습니다. 네, ITF는 굉장히 오랜 유구한 역사를 가지고 있습니다. 
네, 유럽 그 컨퍼런스 기회로서 네, 1953년에 설립이 되었습니다. 그 세계 2차 대전 직후에 저희가 그 어, 설립되었습니다. 그 세계 대전 세계 2차 대전 이후에 이제 교통국이 재건되고 나서 설립된 기구입니다. And since then we have several member countries that have joined to to, to the today's 64 member countries that are part of the International Transport Forum. As I mentioned, we are an intergovernmental organization. We work for 64 member countries. We are administratively integrated within the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in OECD in Paris, but we are politically independent. We have a big research team working on policy-relevant research and analysis. We produce more than 60 reports, 70 reports today per year. We also have an in-house modeling capability, modeling tools, uh, data collection, statistics teams, uh, and we really work on identifying the best practices for transport policy uh, to support our member governments. And as mentioned, we or also organize the annual summit, which is the largest gathering of transport ministers globally. And the next summit is taking place in 24th and 26th of May in 2023 in Leipzig, Germany, under the presidency of the United Kingdom. So what are we working on? Uh, especially this meeting is on research. Our, our today's conference was on research topic. On the research side, we focus on five strategic priorities that our Secretary General has put forward. Those are digitalization, universal access, inclusion and health, connectivity, safety and security, and one of the key challenges of our time, uh, decarbonization. Here are examples of some of the work we do at the ITF, including our flagship publication, ITF Transport Outlook. The next version is coming out in 2023. Next year, we carry out a road safety data collections based on which we produce road safety annual reports. And we do a lot of studies with our member countries. Here is an example on the motorway safety in Korea that we carried out together with the Korea Expressway company. But we don't work only with the governments. We work with international organizations uh, on the financial side, on the transport sector, on the retail sector, and other sectors. And as mentioned by my colleague Eugene, one of the key objectives of our Secretary General is diversity. And that means not only on staff diversity, but diversity in terms of working with other sectors. We cannot work in a silo as a transport. We need to work on trade, energy, tourism, urbanism, environment, etc. We also have a very special uh, body called Corporate Partnership Board. This board brings together today 34 global companies working on transport or transport-related issues. Uh, we are very happy that just today we signed a new memorandum of understanding and the Hyundai company joining ITF. Uh, and in addition to two other um, uh, Korean companies, uh, Autocrypt and Kakao Mobility. Here's a brief picture of the structure of our organization led by our Secretary General, Yang Tae Kim. Uh, I think for today's job opportunity info, one of the key areas is the work that we do under the Transport Research Center uh, in this organigram, where we carry out several different type of research analysis. But overall, if we look at the concrete ways we work at the ITF, the, the annual summit is one of our key outputs that we organize every year. Uh, this is, again, as I mentioned, this year under the UK presidency, followed by Lithuania and then Chile uh, in two years' time. The output area two, it is our core program of work on research, the Transport Research Center. It oversees is overseen by Transport Research Committee, and we typically carry out three working groups and eight roundtables per work program in this work stream. Uh, we have other high-level profile products, part of it, including the Outlook and our statistics work and our road safety database. Now, relevant for the work on the research side is also our corporate partnership board. Together with the private sector companies, we carry out 
three to five projects per year focusing on global emerging policy issues that the private sector is well positioned to identify and help us to give better advice to our member governments as well. And finally, in the research side, we carry out other research projects that are funded by our member countries, our other partners, uh, such as European Commission, uh, climate funds, world banks, etc. And we focus on all aspects of transportation in, in this work. We also have a major stream of work looking at decarbonisation, helping countries to identify pathways and sustainable transport infrastructure in emerging economies and, and globally as well. And also today we heard about the ITF Innovation, Mobility Innovation Hub. This is a special body created with the funding of Korea with ambition to build a lasting multi-donor platform looking at innovation in transportation sector. Now, what kind of opportunities we have available at the ITF? We, are, we have very diverse type of uh, opportunities available, Re reaching from policy analysts, researchers, statisticians, modelers, to human resource, jobs, finance, IT specialists, event managers, assistants, etc. I think today's uh, focus will be definitely on the policy analysis, on researchers, statisticians, and modelers that we would look for. Uh, we have a full range of positions always available, uh, management roles, mid-career positions, and junior entry-level positions. There are different types of contracts within the ITF as part of the OECD. Uh, I think today uh, might likely focus on the officials that are recruited or interns or secondments. Uh, and these are the different types of, uh, each of them have a different type of contract and, and durations. But if we look at the um, officials, uh, I would say that uh, the salaries and benefits at the International Transport Forum are, are, are really competitive. Uh, they are exempt from income tax in most of the member countries. Uh, they're also including expatriation allowances uh, and uh, family allowances and education allowances, among other things. Uh, there are, as I mentioned, other type of uh, recruitment opportunities at the International Transport Forum those come from temporary staff or interns, and we, we do take regularly interns from universities to work with us, either interns who are finishing their master's or PhD or, or moving beyond uh, that can also work within the ITF on several of our projects uh, or all the time. And of course, we offer also support for international staff in, in many other ways, helping with the visa support, education, family allowances, uh, access to childcare facilities and French language courses, which is of course very important, living in Paris and, and surviving life in Paris. Now, finally, just to give a very concrete uh, example, how do you apply to the opportunities at the International Transport Forum? As I mentioned, we are part of the OECD family, so the OECD careers uh, website is the link that uh, provides you the, the, the link to the opportunities at the, at the ITF as well. And the, I have a link here that will be shared with all the participants or online as well. Uh, you can check all the available opportunities at this link and you need to create a user account and then you have a possibility to receiving job alerts uh, for the positions you are interested in applying for as well. And a very final word on the recruitment process for officials particularly. Uh, you would have an online application through the portal. The applications will be screened by HR and hiring manager in the question. We'll normally have a written test and a recorded video interview. And shortlisted candidates then will be invited to an interview uh, with the panel, which has typically three to five people in the interview panel. These are all uh, uh, virtual interviews, so we do not organize in-person uh, interviews anymore at the ITF and OECD. And if you're successful through that recruitment process, the ITF will give you a job offer at the end of the day. And I would just need to note that the official recruitment process is rather lengthy process. Uh, we want to make sure that we follow all the 
good procedures uh, on, on recruitment, so uh, having a very strong scrutiny over the process. So typically that takes generally between four to six months to be recruited as an official. So that ends my very short presentation, and I leave open for any questions here in the room or online, if there are any, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you. Maybe I turn to Eugene to moderate the remaining part of the session. Do you have any question? We have ITF staff members right here. So if you have any questions, please let us know so that we can answer your questions. Still no questions on online chat box yet. Are there any questions that are not relevant to this presentation? If you give us an email, we will going to answer you as soon as possible. Please contact IA ITF contact email so that we can answer you. So since there is no question, we will end the session. Thank you.